Welcome to Achieve More with Athens Tech, the official podcast of Athens Technical College. This is where you'll discover how the programs at Athens Tech can connect you with in-demand and high-paying careers. Today, we're going to look at hotel, restaurant, and tourism management and culinary arts. If, if you don't know what you want to do with your life, but you love people, hospitality is for you. If you work for the right place, you work for the right people, you will make you will make a lot of money. You can always get a job anywhere as a cook or even a head chef or even create your own bakery or your own restaurant. And so it will never hurt you to have that experience. People will forget what you said, forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Maya Angelou. In today's episode, we're going to talk to a graduate of the Hotel, Restaurant, and Tourism Management Program. My name is Erin Engelbrock. Um, I am currently Assistant Manager of Food and Beverage Operations at the Ritz-Carlton Reynolds Lake Oconee in Greensboro, Georgia. We'll talk to a culinary arts student. I'm Morgan Balls. I'm a mother of two. Um, I've been married for, let's see, we're going on seven years now. I've currently going to Athens Tech. I started out as an accounting major. I've finished all my accounting classes and then switched over to the culinary and baking program. And I am currently in that at the moment. Um, And I am possibly throwing the idea around of graduating this year with the accounting and then coming back to finish up the culinary and then eventually starting Um, my own bakery. And we'll hear a story of triumph, of overcoming adversity, to achieve a lot more. I come from a background where uh, I grew up on the west side of Chicago. And so I didn't know if I would make it. And when I say I'd make, make it, it was pretty violent back then in the 80s. That man is very important to these programs. I'll let him introduce himself. My name is Dr. Alfonso A. Bui. I'm the program chair for culinary arts as well as hotel, restaurant, and tourism management. And if you put both of those together, I cover anything in hospitality. So that could be anywhere from owning your own business. uh, You can own your own travel agency, your own restaurant. You can work in these entities. Um, It could be hotels, convention and visitors bureaus, as well as event planning. So anything dealing with um, putting on events for the general public, um, I, I would say I, we're covered, you know, so anything that's disposable income that people love to do. So and sometimes people forget what those are. These even sports arenas like it's endless because people love having a good time. Right. So <laughs> when we cover all those areas, <laughs> I come from a background where. I grew up on the west side of Chicago. And so I didn't know if I would make it. And when I say I'd make make it, it was pretty violent back then in the 80s. So for a young black person to like graduate from sixth grade, eighth grade or high school was was pretty slim because crime was just so bad. It was, it was more than likely you were going to join a gang or end up dead somewhere. And so um, for me to make it out of that and achieve everything I, I've done in my life, I look for more individuals like me or anyone who just wants to do more with their lives. And I, I, I get a lot of students who are just like, by the time I get, they, they come to me, they're just kind of like lost and beaten down. And I, I encourage them that they can achieve more. You can earn your degree. You can have a better life. You know, I had one student graduate and now she works for a pretty prestigious hotel making pretty good money, you know, and she never thought that she would make that, you know, for her life. And so I I just want to be able to give people, make their dream a reality. That's what I want to do. We'll hear more from Dr. Bowie about his background, qualifications, and his journey in a bit. But first, that student he just mentioned, that's Aaron. My name is Erin Engelbrock. Um, I am currently assistant manager of food and beverage operations at the Ritz-Carlton Reynolds Lake Oconee in Greensboro, Georgia. Um, I graduated from Athens Tech in May um, and started my job two weeks later. Um, 
I already, I, I had the job before I left, um, thanks to my professor. Um, and that's about it. Been working really hard ever since, learned a lot about the industry, um, perfecting my craft, and just focusing on growing a career. I'm a non-exempt manager, so uh, I have a salary, but if I work outside the the means of that salary, I get compensated, meaning I make overtime. And I work overtime every week. So my starting salary was 45 a year, 45,000 a year, um, which I was like, oh my gosh, that's so amazing. Um, but after overtime, I, I would imagine I'll probably make a lot closer to 60,000 a year. Um, so it's definitely, it can be very lucrative. Um, but a lot of people don't don't really want management and want to stay in more of like a typical position, like a bartender or a server. Um, and servers at my at my property, they they make a lot of money. They they easily make more money than I do, um, just because our food's expensive. We turn tables so quickly. Um, you can really make a lot of money. Um, so a lot of people look at hospitality as kind of an industry where you, you don't really make a lot of money, but if you work for the right place, if you work for the right people, you, you will make you will make a lot of money, um, especially if you're young. Um, like I'm young, I'm not married, I don't have kids. Uh, this is a great amount of money for me. Um, I'm, I live very comfortably. I live by myself. I have my own house, but a lot of people live very very comfortably, working in hotels and working in restaurant management. What type of things do you need to know? What type of things do you learn at Athens Tech? I do remember in one class. I think it, it had to have been business etiquette. Um, Dr. Wilson, the old professor, was teaching us things to say and things not to say. Um, so, like when a when a guest says thank you, the the response is not no problem. You never say no problem. Um, so every time I say it or I catch myself saying, it, I'm like stop, don't say it. Or every time one of my employees says it, I pull them to the side. I'm like, hey, we don't say that. It's my pleasure. Um, it's absolutely, of course, things like that. Stronger words. Um, so we were we were taught to 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 use better verbiage. And I think that that's translated well into my career now because I do work at a five-star resort and I need to say the right thing. Um, I can't just be casual. Um, I think the one course there is, and it wants to go, it crosses over to even the culinary side is hospitality law. So not only do we teach legalities of it, we teach other things such as how to look for human trafficking, you know, uh, what are liability issues for, let's say, someone doing something illegal in a guest room in a hotel? So let's say someone is selling illegal paraphernalia or substances. Can you just go in their room? And uh, so we teach how to properly handle these situations. Uh, case in point, in one of the classes, uh, we teach, um, you know, privacy laws. And there's a scenario where we say, hey, what if a husband walks up to the front desk, shows a, a wedding picture and say, hey, my wife is staying here. I don't know which room. Can you give me a room key? Um, can't, you know, should you give him a room key? And then the answer would be no, because somebody could be fleeing from a situation where there was domestic violence and they're seeking safe refuge. So the next class, one of my students went through that exact scenario and she was her mind was blown she said i never would have thought i said actually it happens quite often and uh a co-worker uh wound up uh giving the husband the key and then they had a whole scenario where she had to be rushed to the hospital and um i don't know how that all turned out but unfortunately you know that there were some legal issues behind that repercussions because you gave the husband the room key when you shouldn't have so these are some of the things that uh, we teach within the program that a lot of people may not even have thought of prior. It's 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 common sense, but at the same time, you need to know. It's it's nice to see it all writing and see it all all come together. Um, is my thing because um, obviously, like I know how to serve a table. I know how to talk to a guest. I know, I mean, I know back of house things, um, but for everything to come together and orchestrate um, in one class to really focus on a specific subject um, and take that and like, like roll with it, like hospitality law, hospitality accounting, um, front office management, back of house management, um, things like that. 
the classes are hyper focused on on a specific thing. So by the end of the semester, you're an expert on that. Um, and so by the end of your entire course of study, you're an expert on everything, and you can do any career path and do anything, which I think is super cool. Um, but I, it, it's it's simple, but you still have to work hard. If that makes sense, like you have to try. How about Morgan? She's studying culinary arts, so she can tell us a little bit about what that entails. Um, it's been awesome. Um, they're very hands-on. They, they're they there to help. And so we go in, you're pretty much in the kitchen all day, um, which I mean, it's fun. It's A lot of people are like, oh, all day class? No, but no, it's actually a lot of fun. We all have, um, we're a small class, so we enjoy each other's, um, all the classmates' time. And the instructor, he's there to help us and guide us and make sure that um, we're learning and knowing how to do things properly. And so, but no, um, every instructor that I've had so far has been wonderful and has really helped me learn and fine tune my skills. With baking, there is a science to it. You have to do things in a certain order or else your cake may be flat or may be dense and hard. So you have to do things in a certain order in a certain way. And some people think, oh, well, it's a cake. I can just toss it all in and mix it all up. Well, you really can't. And so it's kind of like putting the cart before the horse. You have to figure out and learn the order and steps. Probably the, the, the first thing that a lot of students in the culinary program uh, don't know they need is a course called safety and sanitation, culinary safety and sanitation. Uh, same thing with uh, HRTM. It basically, it teaches you how to properly handle food so people don't become sick from food poisoning, uh, how to cook food properly, how to store it. It could be simple things such as hand washing techniques or complex things such as the internal cook, cooking temperature of uh, beef versus uh, fish versus poultry, chicken products, uh, how to store things, where to store them. So it's so many things that they learn uh within the program and just that course it's like an eye-opening course like whoa this is this is serious you're like yeah you you are responsible for people's lives <laughs> coming to Athens Tech was my first time ever cooking in a commercial kitchen I've always been a home baker I've never used a commercial oven anything commercial so it was very nice to actually learn the different equipment and using, because um, a commercial oven does cook differently than an actual home oven does. It co- cooks normally a little hotter than a home oven does. And so being able to use these different equipment and machinery and learning all these different things as far as like, because you learn how to do safety in a commercial kitchen, which is a very big important thing because that you could save someone's life by not having a disease from washing your hands, washing dishes properly and everything like that. So it's neat to learn these different things. So if you ever need to go work in a kitchen or something, you do have all those, that background. Um, But then we also, um, when we make bread, um, Chef Ponder will fire up the pizza oven, which is really cool because I've never seen it or used one before. And so it was neat to be able to do that. And then um, they do have like a laminator to make croissants and um, puff pastry and different things like that, which is neat um, because not many people in their life will ever get to use one. And so because doing it by hand is not fun. <laughs> it is not fun at all to roll cold dough, uh, cold butter into dough. It, it's hard. <laughs> Even some of the strong guys had a hard time with it. But um, just the different pieces of equipment is just really neat because things you would, you see, you're like, oh, wow, I didn't know they did that. Or, oh, neat, I didn't know they made those. And so it's um, a very neat experience. No one really teaches you how to cook properly, right? Like you, you learn how to cook at home, but did anyone teach you oh, food needs to be done to a certain temperature. What's the degree of doneness? You know, why it's safe to eat a rare steak. 
these are things that no one teaches at home. So once they get in the, in the course, they're just their minds are just blown. And it's, it's always great. I love that course. It's one of my favorites. If you're considering the hotel, restaurant, and tourism management or culinary arts program at Athens Technical College, you're going to be learning from very experienced people. Dr. Pui's knowledge is extensive. Well, I started off uh, probably in high school was my first job in hospitality. I, I worked at a pizza place called Waddle Coney's Pizza in Chicago. It was a great place. And uh, the guy there, you know, uh, the owner, him and I developed a wonderful rapport to the point where I was opening the place on Sunday. And I'm just in high school. I'm not realizing I'm developing actual life skill sets then and there. I'm just trying to get my little paycheck in <laughs> and take home free pizzas. And so um, from there, I, I, I went off to college and I became a server. And once I was done with my master's, I was almost done with my master's. And um, no, when I got done with my bachelor's, I actually worked for a convention and visitors bureau. So that's uh, one area of hospitality. And so we would put on events and things of that nature and help direct people, uh, whether it was weddings or government events. Just And then uh, from there, uh, back to serving. And they asked me to be the manager. So I moved to Chicago as a manager, moved back to Chicago after college. And uh, I was a manager for uh, Longhorn Steakhouse, Ted's Montana Grill, as well as Cheddar's Casual Cafe. Not sure if you're familiar with any of those, but uh, I worked for all three of those concepts. Finished my, um, I, I took a break to finish my dissertation. That's why I worked as an overnight concierge. That was a, a, a crazy experience. I have some, you know, it's, the one thing about working overnight is very quiet until it isn't. So it's, it's one of two extremes. You're going to have a crazy night or a very quiet night. And so it was, but most of them were quiet nights. And then um, in between, I worked for Virgin America. So I worked for an airline. So I kind of worked all over the place in hospitality. And it wasn't until probably um, I actually became program chair. Someone said, oh, you have a really extensive career in hospitality that you've built. And I said, I do. I do have an extensive career. I didn't do it on purpose. So <laughs> uh, probably my my most interesting experience is when I worked over in China for four and a half years. And so I was a business professor. And while living over there, I did a lot of restaurant consulting. And so that was a pretty cool experience. I did a little bit of hotel consulting on the side, but mainly it was restaurants. So I was able to uh, help teach serving practices, whether front of the house or back of the house. Uh, and even though I'm grading the kitchen back of the house, for some reason, it just took me longer to get than front, front of the house. But once I got it, um, I, you couldn't stop me. So that's kind of my my all around, overall, everywhere experience in, in hospitality. <laughs> I grew up, I've always loved sweets. <laughs> That's me. Um, but my grandmother, she was a well-loved woman in the community who loved to bake. Um, everybody loved her cakes. Everybody loved her pies. And over the years, she has taught me about baking and everything I know. I started looking into the culinary program because I did love to bake. And so I did want to just do a little something, um, I guess, to say... I wanted to spruce myself up to fine tune my abilities. And so I wanted to learn just that little more where you can't really teach yourself more into the breads, the pastries and different things like that. And so that was my main goal as to going into the culinary program is to learn things that I've never been taught. And so and that's why I'm in it now is to just get that fine tune to help better myself and then also to better my bakery. Athens Tech has given me a lot of obviously number one opportunity, my employment. Um, but you know, I have a resume and it says I went to Athens Tech. I can use my professor as a reference, a job reference. Um, there's so much to do and there's in, in life and there's just a lot that you can do and a lot that I want to do. Um, so I, I achieving more would be it is my only option. I'm going to achieve everything I want to. Everything in life that I, I'm going to get, I'm going to get. Um, you have to have drive and power and, and, and really want to be successful. And you will. If, if you don't know what you want to do with your life, but you love people, hospitality is for you. And if it's not, we'll direct you in the right direction, but I'm pretty sure it's for you. So if you love people, we're definitely the program for you. Sign up.
will get you in culinary or hotel restaurant tourism management. And also go after your dreams, you know. Um, don't let anyone tell you that you can't achieve because you can. You can achieve whatever you want to in life. I promise you, you can. Thanks for listening to Achieve More with Athens Tech, the official podcast of Athens Technical College. For more information, visit athenstech.edu. This podcast is a production of BG Ad Group. Darren Sutherland, Executive Producer. Jeremy Powell, Creative Director. Jacob Sutherland, Director. Producers Jason Gentarola and Matt Golden. And Kezia May, Copywriter. All rights reserved.